new Apex 17X little hybrid camper with a real big feel and private sleeping, which if I sound confused, it's because those things don't normally go together in the same sentence. Just landed. This is a coachman camper here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We are Michigan's largest independent dealer of RVs, and if you like what you see and you'd like to see things like tank capacities or you're curious how much it runs or etc. etc. I leave you YouTube folks a link in the video description down here that says check for price and availability. You're one click away from seeing our hybrid campers, what we have and what we're asking with their each independent, you know, uh, equipment compliments. So I've always, I like the Apexes here at Halet RV because they have proven themselves, they're one of the three brands I talk about with frequency that they're as close to bulletproof as they can get. And in point of fact, uh, the Apex and its big brother, the Freedom Express, which we also carry here at Halet RV, they were the uh, two Coachman brands last year that won DSI Quality Awards. Yeah, kind of funny. We carry them both. I guess we got a good eye for this stuff at Halet's. Um, you know, I talk to the guys in our Halet Service Center and all the time they're saying, nah, you know, like, hey guys, what's the number one thing that you encounter that's wrong with an Apex? And they're like, what? We, there's not. <laughs> there isn't. <laughs> You know, we hear that a lot. Our guys like these, and I like them as a, like if I'm involved with a customer because I don't feel like I have to apologize for it. When I uh, am talking to a customer here at Halitz and they're looking at an Apex, I feel confident that it's going to stay in your driveway and not come back to mine. Now, it is a little camper, but they give you everything that matters where they can. Like, we've got a small front storage here, but it is a full pass-through. And outside storage of any variety is so shockingly uncommon in little hybrid campers. The fact that they gave us anything here is good. Something Coachman has always known with over 50 years of doing this. They're closing in on 55 now. Um, I don't know if there's anyone else that's done that much consecutive business in the RV business. They know how important outside storage is. Now, they can't give you a full fifth wheel size basement here, but they did the best they could. And selling all the different brands that we carry here at Halet RV, that is something that I'm kind of in tune with. And I recognize when they go above and beyond to, to meet customer needs. They could have saved a tiny bit of money by not having um, these uh, baggage doors here. But it's so critical they do. And they put a good one in with a sealed hinge so that the hinge doesn't get sprung from freezing water. Because water gets on a piano hinge, freezes, expands, and it, it screws the hinge up. You don't have that problem here. We are solar prepped for uh, 12 volt trickle charging. Uh, you can, uh, if you're gonna go dry camping, you can still put two batteries on that. And that's something that we can do for you here at Halitz. We only do everything, hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing. We do everything here at Halitz RV in Goldwater, Michigan. This is an easy towing, narrow body. Um, oh, it weighs 3,645 pounds as you see it here. Remember that the one we have in stock might be a little different, but generally speaking, this is pretty much how we bring them in. We don't get too jazzy with an Apex Nano. Um, this is the, the little series of Apexes. Um, most of the Nanos are single axle. This is one of the very few that is a tandem axle. And they did that so that it would have the, the GVW, the load capacity, to be able to handle this big, deep slide. It's got a huge convertible two bench to U dinette uh, capability in this thing. And we'll see that more when we get inside of it. Um, talk about, uh, I'm gonna talk about Asdell construction on the other side, but fully aluminum framed. Roof, floor, front, rear walls, side walls, slide out. Everything is fully aluminum framed on here. Um, we uh, also have um, leak preventing seal gripping slide walls. So when I let the camera adjust here, you can hear my fingernails scratch across that because we have this real almost uh, sandpaper like uh, texture on it. And that pulls these slide seals all the way in or out so that you don't have an area where uh, of seam failure. Um, windows are UV tinted. Windows will open for ventilation. Now this is a little camper, so it's not like they have 13, 14 windows in it, but they did what they could where they could. That's another thing I've learned to look for here at Halet RV. There's a lot of different good campers out there. They all do little different stuff. I'm wanting to point out the stuff that makes this one different and unique, such as a tongue mounted spare tire. They do that to leave the rear bumper open so that if you choose to add a bicycle rack for the kids or grandkids, you can do that. Um, also, tongue mounted weight will um, help with load equalization. That means like if you're going down the road and the load starts to get wiggly and squirrely, weight on the nose will negate sway, uh, whereas weight in the back will exaggerate sway and then you get things out of control. That's how you can get uh, you know a little bit wacky and dangerous. So I mentioned earlier this is narrow body. This is a seven and a half foot body as opposed to a standard eight foot. And you're thinking six inches, big deal. Well, 
six inches is a big deal because that's the difference between seeing around the RV when you're changing lanes on the highway and not seeing around the RV when you're changing lanes on the highway. Generally speaking, this is the same width as your tow vehicle. I still recommend tow mirrors. That's why I have the full part shop over here at Haylet so that we can, we have all that stuff. It doesn't matter what you need, we have it. Um, and I, I still recommend that, but this gives you superior visibility so you're far more confident when you're changing lanes or parking or whatever. And the little detail stuff like this on these Apexes, they use the uh, the better locking, um, you know, squeeze type uh, cap ends. A lot of people like to store their sewer hoses in here. These caps just don't fall off. A lot of um, trailers have just the quick little push-in caps, and they find a way to wiggle out going down the road. Because, guys, this is a rolling earthquake, and anything that, uh, you know, you can do to help uh, prevent, pre you know, to, to enhance preventative stuff like they've done here from the factory level. So if that doesn't tell you that they have the end user in mind on this, I don't know what does. We are looking at a power awning, and uh, it does have LED lights on it. It's got this really awesome blue LED light, which along with the exterior color package that they have here, this very high definition looking graphics bundle, the, the blue light really shines on your campsite. Unfortunately, bright daylight like this, I can't give you a good look at it. Let me turn these outside lights on, because they also have speaker mounted lights, switches are right here, and look at that. These, there's lights right here, and again, not impressive in the daytime, but at night, and I'm probably going to include a photo of this on our website, it lights up like a Christmas tree, and you've also got separate controls for this up here. Um, Asdell, let's talk Asdell and the wall construction. If I peek inside here and block the sunlight, you can see this white board. That is Asdell. That's the layer under the fiberglass skin. It's 50% lighter, roughly, than a uh, Luan interior wall panel and it is completely waterproof. Um, nothing wrong with Luan wall paneling in common lamination that you see everywhere. There's nothing wrong with that, but there's good and there's better. And at Halet RV, we like to offer both. We like to have a camper for any budget. I can find you a cheaper camper maybe, but it, you're going to lose out on some of the fun things I've shown you here, like this Asdell. Suffice to say, like uh, I have a, a, cr a cutaway cross section of an Asdell wall inside that was soaked, submerged, in water for 60 days and it did not fall apart. That that's impressive. Here's another good example. Oh, here's a yeah, here you go. Here's what that the patio lights I was telling you about. Here's what it looks like at night outside. It makes a huge huge difference. Uh, that's my family. Never mind that. Never uh, oh, oops, now it's a video of my kid. I came unprepared here. Here we go. So this is the Apex factory sign. You can see their name right on it and you look at it you're like, "Oh, that's nice." But if you look closer, you see it's actually literally an Apex wall. If you look at this, it's literally a wall, exactly like you see here in this camper. It is open and exposed, not sealed to the weather. And if you look at this photo, you can see it's snowing. We get all four seasons and equal varieties here in the Midwest. This sign has been here for years. It has not fallen apart. It has not degraded. It has not delaminated. If that doesn't give you an idea of why Asdell is important, um, I, I, don't think, I don't think anything ever will, okay? Uh, there's different interior options available on, on an Apex. This is called Pebble. At Halet RV, we found this one to be our most popular, but Espresso is also very nice. Uh, there's one's called Cayenne Shadow, and man, I haven't figured out where that name came from. I think they threw darts at a wall, and that's what they came up with, but it doesn't matter. If you like everything in Scamber except the color of those cushions, don't worry about it. I probably got a different one in stock. Um, the, uh, again, you can check pricing and availability at Halet RV with our link in the video description. So here's what's cool about this. Let me, I mean, it's a little camper with a big feel. You're towing about a 17 foot box down the road, but you get a 30 foot dinette slide camper when you get to your destination. And if you notice, this is a full deep slide. That's a full three foot deep slide but the dinette still sticks out further. It's a three and a uh, half foot deep dinette, so it's like a, a true king dinette. There is storage on each side of it. The Apex dinette is very cool. Um, it's This is the only place I've ever seen it. We offer, oh my gosh, we have so many different brands here at Halitz that this, uh, you know, they're the only ones I see it. That alone is remarkable. If you look under back here, you can see it's actually convertible. Now that board that decorative board right there is actually the support board for the rear bench and that is the cushion for the rear bench if you want it you can convert this from a standard two bench dinette 
or into a U lounge if you want. Now, you're looking at it, you're like, yeah, but this table is all the way against the wall. Again, look under here with me. You might notice, and this is not an easy camera angle to see it, but these posts are not met, uh, mounted in the center of this table. Um, so if you turn this 180 degrees and then remount it, the table will actually stick out here into the living area a little bit and create a full U dinette. So you have options to go with either. So it doesn't matter if you like a U dinette or a two bench dinette, this camper literally has both, either, neither, whichever one you're looking for. You can do everything with that. And again, that's the part that's so shocking me. Of all the different trailers we offer at Halet RV, this is the only one that does that. It's very cool. You will find all of the countertops are thermal foil. What that means is the sealed edge pressed membrane. Water cannot get in here. So uh, if the, uh, the kids get a little antsy and they start bashing this table and somebody knocks over a glass of water or Kool-Aid or whatever, no big deal. Obviously, you want to dry it up off your fabrics and soft goods, but the table is not going to swell and sponge and deteriorate. Just not going to happen. We, I, I mentioned earlier the big windows, but I do like to point out that you do have nice big cross breeze windows here. And they did put a bigger window here in the kitchen than I expected. When I see little campers, little hybrid, and I see a kitchen window on a schematic, I expect a little toothpick window. They put a full-size window here, and it's a slider window for maximum airflow. Um, all LED lights... So if you are going to go dry camping, these things aren't going to suck the battery dry. And we do have that laminated, aluminum framed, arched, full walk-on roof. This is an arched roof. I'm not using liar, liar, pants on fire, camera gimmick tricks. I don't do that. I present the trailer as it appears. Something else I want to talk about. We haven't even gotten past the slide out yet, guys. That's 11 and a half minutes. There's, there's a ton of amazing features in this little trailer. That, that, <laughs> that, that's what's amazing. So... Totally carpetless floor. Because the slide out is an above floor slide, they don't have to have carpet for it to slide around on. It can be a completely carpetless floor. And I, I really, I like, they've done such a good job of the color packages inside and out. Probably not a surprise to you that they have a lady interior designer at Coachman putting these colors together. Because I sure wouldn't have come up with something that looks this good. Uh, if, if I... <laughs> If, if, if I got dressed on my own in the morning, it looks like a flea market threw up on me, guys. <laughs> Full size, 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Same size as a big two-slide bunkhouse we have here at Halet RV on this little 17-foot hybrid easy tow and tandem axle camper. Full six cubic foot fridge and freezer. They didn't give you a small fridge and freezer. Now, um, what I do like is they put the microwave down here instead of up there. Because the kids can use this microwave on their own. You don't have to worry about kids accidentally pulling something. And when the microwave's up really tall, if I kneel down like a kid, I'm going to be inclined to tilt it toward myself. Well, if you're cooking a hot bowl of soup, that's, that's not a good combination of things. I also do like the frosted glass they have up there, just to kind of break up the decoration uh, This uh, of this nice uh, driftwood uh, wood tones that we have here. By the way... I don't know if this is going to show on camera or not, but if you look back around here, uh, you might be able to see that these are pocket screwed styles. They don't use staples. Everything is screwed together. This, this is a camper built for towing and going and rambling and gambling. It is a coach that is made for use and abuse, and it will hold up. Um, again, for dry camping purposes, uh, folks at Apex got this nailed. Some people will go, well, why do they have the little sink and the big sink? This is for dry camping, guys. If you're hooked up to a uh, to park water, you don't care about this because you have all the water in the world. But when you're dry camping, you've got uh, a little bit of water. Although, in this small hybrid class, Apex actually on average has the biggest tanks out there. 30, 30, 30. 30 fresh, gray, black. They have generally bigger tanks than anyone else. So... If you're at a uh, dry camp situation, you want to use the little sink so that you sip on your water tank. You don't gulp on your water tank. You want to use little water. Now, again, if you're hooked up to a park, use the big sink. Have a good time. Uh, let's see here. Let's move on back. I think we've done enough damage up here in the living room. Um, the bathroom, I was very excited when I saw that this did not have what's called a wet bath. A wet bath is when the toilet is literally sitting in the shower. And notice too, power vent fan and skylight, not one or the other. And that's why I don't even need to turn the ceiling light on in here. Um, someone's going to say, why are there no shower wall surround panels on this? I have done a video on that. I've done a video on that. Type keyword shower into my YouTube channel here at Halet RV, and you will see why it's a good idea to sometimes have this and a good idea to sometimes not have it. 
there are reasons this is not here. This is a good application of no shower surround paneling. Again, uh, I'm happy to explain that. But, well, wow, look at that. I didn't notice that at first. Foot flush still in a little camper. Nice touch. Still waterproof countertop because we've got a water source right here. And you've still got hookups, uh, you know, power outlets for like um, hair dryers and shavers and stuff like that. And a medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. All these little things, all these little things add up to a couple more dollars each, but it's such a superior camp experience. Now, this little corner right here was not really photo friendly, but this extra pantry or linen cabinet or whatever you want to use it for is worth its weight in gold because just like that small pass-through storage up front, guys, when it comes to storage, say it with me, every ounce counts. Every ounce counts. This matters. By the way, bunk fan lights for your front and rear beds. Um, so I mentioned when I was outside that this is a hybrid with privacy, um, far more so than most hybrids. And despite its small size, they gave you a good living room and kind of very private bed spaces. So this one you can kind of see back there. There is a privacy curtain, but it is a little bit secluded because it's kind of hidden behind the bathroom wall. Now, if it's just a couple's camp situation, you don't have to open this if you don't want to. Remember that. Um, but this bed is rated for like 1,050 pounds. It's some ridiculously overbuilt number. These side panels can unzip for crazy good airflow. This is aircraft grade cable that's supporting these it, uh, on a fully laminated bed deck. Laminated bed deck also means it's insulated under you, so it will be uh, a little harder to get chilly in there. Um, now, as we look forward, you get to kind of see the front bedroom here. You throw a TV up in that space, you pull your curtain, you also have a very private front bedroom, just like you have a very private rear hybrid bunk bed, whatever you wanna call it. And that is what is so uncommon. This slide and this entertainment wall, I've never seen done in a hybrid camper. I've never seen this floor plan at Halid RV ever, ever. This is a new layout at the time of this filming. They have not had it out for very long. Um, I, think, I think this is an absolute winner because there are some people who want living space. They want a big slide out for rainy day situations, but they don't want to, to, to tow large. The front wall goes out. The side wall goes out. The rear wall goes out. This thing's like a transformer. There's more than meets the eye to it. When you're going down the road, it looks like a 17-foot baby camper. And then you get to your campsite and open it up, and oh my gosh, does this thing come alive. And this extra hanging wardrobe closet right here is the coolest thing I've ever seen in a little hybrid camper. They did not waste an ounce of space in here. Good storage all the way through. That stereo is app-enabled. You can get what's called the J-Control, J-Control app for any Android, iPhone, uh, whatever. And you can turn your phone into a Bluetooth remote for this, and you can stream music from it, all kinds of stuff. iPads, you know, tablets, whatever. Um, you know, they've done so many good things on this one. It's such a unique, cool, different floor plan. I think they've really, really nailed it here. And again, you're one click away from seeing what we have in stock and how much we're asking at Halid RV uh, with the link in our video description. Or, God forbid, just call and talk to a living, breathing human being and everything's going to be just fine. So take care, stay safe, have fun and happy camping everyone. Take care.